Welcome back to our video podcast. Let's talk. Pastor, before we jump into our subject today, I'm just going to read a verse. Yeah, there. absolutely. 1 John 4, 1 says this. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. Mm. But many false prophets have gone out into the world. Today's subject is try the spirits. Mm. Try the spirits. How do people get sucked into lies, lies from different voices, lies. Yeah. Well, first of all, I, I like the, the title of this particular video podcast, and I think it's so relevant today. Mm, mm. I really do. Yes, yeah. We're watching, you know, people being misled mm -hmm. and, and going down to pretty dark holes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And discernment is crucial to that. And, and again, it's not like we're just sitting here doing a video podcast going, yeah, we, we think this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. You just read it in the, in the King mm -hmm. James Bible. Mm -hmm. Try the spirits. Why? Whether they're of God or not, not every spirit is of the Lord. Right, amen. So to your question, how do people get sucked into lies? Mm -hmm. I think that's a great question. Uh, let me, if I can, give mm -hmm. you just a, a, an analogy. Yeah. In the, in the 30s, late 30s, early 40s, you know, Adolf Hitler came on the scene. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he told a lie, mm -hmm. he told it big, mm -hmm. and he told it often. Mm -hmm. You say, well, what is that? how does that tie in? The Bible says, faith mm -hmm. cometh by hearing. Mm -hmm. So those people heard a lie, heard it big, and heard it often, mm -hmm. and they believed it. Yes. And they were misled to believe that basically... You know, uh, white people with blonde hair and blue eyes were superior. Mm -hmm. You know, and that Jews were needed the source of all problems. Exactly, mm -hmm. needed to be annihilated. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, mm -hmm. six million Jews were slaughtered mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of a lie. Mm -hmm. And later, with Stalin, some say up to twenty million. Mm -hmm. So it was lies. It was mm -hmm. lies. So to your question, how do people get sucked into lies? Mm -hmm. Faith comes by hearing. Now, we know we're kind of just stopping there in Romans 10, 17, mm -hmm. hearing by the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to grow spiritually by exposing yourself to the Word of God, but I'll tell you, whatever you hear, whatever you hear, mm -hmm. it's going to cause you, if you don't know how to try the spirits, mm -hmm. to buy into a narrative. Yes, absolutely. If, and like never before today's day. Exactly. Uh, I mean, never before. Imagine if they had social media and Hitler's day. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, they had propaganda, but mm -hmm. nothing like, mm -hmm. you know. So I watch people get into some pretty dark places, go into some dark holes. And, and I'll, I'll say this, Pastor Kennedy, the source of the information mm -hmm. is crucial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meaning, where do we get our information? Mm -hmm. If we're, you know, try, try the spirits, I mean, obviously we're not to be ostriches mm -hmm. and stick our heads in the sand mm -hmm. and, and not, and, and be oblivious mm -hmm. to all that's taking place. We're, we're not, matter of fact, uh, the Bible tells us in the book of Chronicles, we're to be like the children of Issachar, right? Mm -hmm. Understanding the times. Mm -hmm. So there's a balance to all mm -hmm. of it. Sure. So I'm not going to be able to understand the times, if you will, accurately, you know, just because I heard it on Fox News or if I heard it on CNN or I heard it on, you know, we all have sources that we like to go to. And mm -hmm. in, in, in your next question, I'll kind of talk about balancing that. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I, I, can, I, can, I can tell you what, I can discern the truth and not get sucked into a lie when I look at things through the lens of Scripture. Amen. Yep. I'm convinced, by the way, real quick, mm -hmm. that many get sucked in into lies. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to say it blatantly. Mm -hmm. It's because they don't read their Bibles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they watch so much trash and so much stuff. And, mm -hmm. and they go down dark holes. And they fall because mm -hmm. they're just, it just, there's no other voices. And they're not having enough discernment to try the Spirit. So... Mm -hmm. Um, pretty sad, pretty sad. Mm -hmm. To your point, I, only, I always think of one quote that Pastor Blue said, look at life through the book. It's short, but what profound truth for today. I remember that, you probably don't remember this, but I do. The first message you ever preached for mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. 
when I became the senior pastor of this church, so this would have been 13 years ago, you preached a message on looking at life through the lens of Scripture. Mm -hmm. And that's it mm -hmm. in a nutshell. Yeah. You know, weigh it all by the book. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pastor, on our next question here, yeah. what is the best way to combat disinformation? I think I love this question because this time is like no other time when it comes to this issue right here. Mm -hmm. It's really combating some of that in our own lives, mm -hmm. in our people's lives, in my life. So touch on that if you would. Well, this can be, it can just be a, a hairy issue mm -hmm. and a, a, a hard issue to kind of wade through. Yes. How do you combat mm -hmm. disinformation? Mm -hmm. well, I mean, obviously, take, for, take current examples for, mm -hmm. for an example. All the medical information that is just permeating mm -hmm. our airwaves, mm -hmm. vaccines, anti-vax, pro-vax, mm -hmm. doctor report, CDC report, mm -hmm. personal testimony, personal testimony. Mm -hmm. and, in, and that is a microcosm of what America and the world is dealing with. How do you weed through that so you can make your proper decision for your family? Very uh, difficult. You know? Yeah. Well, it's to try the spirits, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whether it's of God. Mm -hmm. Try the spirits. Line it up with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how do you combat? Going back to your question again, disinformation. Okay, I think, number one, I mean, it's okay. I say, I mean, read the news. Like mm -hmm. I said, don't be an ostrich. But I would give advice to this, Pastor Kennedy. And my dad taught me this. Always read both sides. Mm. Mm. Many people do not do that. I mean, they just, they just can't. They can't stomach it. Mm. And I kind of get it because it's nauseating, but I will tell you, I do read both sides. Mm -hmm. And that's so just, you know, throwing it out there. Mm -hmm. yes. Be balanced. Um, our, our preconceived notions many times can get us in trouble. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, number two mm -hmm. to your question. Know how to take politics out of things. Mm. Very difficult. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Uh, you just, just COVID. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, if politics weren't involved, mm -hmm. I think there'd be much more uh, congruent, you know, uh, you know, uniformity, uniformity yeah. yes. on the issue. Yep. Um, but politics are involved. Yes. But but I'm trying to say, take it out if you can. Yes. Yeah. I think of, you know, someone was running, you know, for an elected position, and he just happened. It was over in Eastern Washington. Just happened to be a doctor, and the news media said, "What do you think of COVID?" And he says, "What do I know?" I'm just a doctor, not a politician. Yeah. And it's it's to your point, right? It's so hard to remove that at this point. It's so in the trenches of it. Yes. It's in the mud and the muck yeah. of Washington, D.C. But I would say to make an accurate decision, mm -hmm. and because if it's you know, you're living in a, in a COVID world, mm -hmm. you better, mm -hmm. you have to. Yes. It's not really an option. Uh, to not, because if you're going to look at it from a political perspective, then you're going to follow one narrative, mm -hmm. and you know it has the potential to get you in trouble either way. Mm -hmm. So you try the spirits. Yes. So I would also say, obviously, know how to take politics out of things, and not everything needs to be political. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. COVID is, again, a perfect mm -hmm. example. It mm -hmm. doesn't need to be political. Mm -hmm. um, you asked the question. You know, what is the best way to combat uh, disinformation? disinformation yeah. This one's so profound, I don't mm. want you to miss it. Mm -hmm. Stay on your knees. Mm. Mm. Stay in your Bible. Mm -hmm. Stay close to God. Uh, look at everything through the lens of Scripture. Right. We keep saying that. Yeah, but it's so true. Um, monitor your media intake. Mm. Big one. Time and content. Mm hmm Yep. You know, but nobody wants to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I know, I know. But I want to, you know what I mean? Just, yeah. And nobody wants to hear it. Yeah. You yeah. know. Everyone's, it, the sad thing is that um, it's so accessible. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, yeah. when you challenge us to do a, a media fast, mm. by the grace of God, I saw myself, you know, 
pre-elections heading into an area that I've never been into, never been a really a politics guy. You know yep. that. Yep. Um, and I shut it all down. Uh, I just said, you know, it's going into an area that I don't feel comfortable with. And I'll tell the audience and I'll tell you, I've told you already that I was addicted to touching and looking at information yeah. on my phone, clicking and looking, clicking. Yeah. I found myself grabbing and clicking it and going, I just looked at this three minutes ago. <laughs> what am I doing? And it took a while, like almost like a drug addict, to stop. Well, let's talk a little bit more yeah, about, about my drug problem. <laughs> yeah. So, but by the grace of God, I'm not Doctor Phil. <laughs> I've not. overcome that, and it could help our people. That's a great testimony. You know, it's yeah. just you know to 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 force yourself through that, yeah. get past that, to where you're not addicted to uh, having to look at news 24 hours or information. that's not the Bible, the word mm -hmm. of God, mm -hmm. make sure you you're putting more of that in you than other yep. things. Yep. And do you know that I don't care how strong a Christian is. Mm -hmm. Nobody is strong enough to not let it affect you. Yes. Yep. No matter what it is. Mm -hmm. Why? Because faith comes by hearing. You're, mm -hmm. It, it, it the narrative of how things play out in your life, in your course, your, your decision making, your out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, mm -hmm. are are developed. It's kind of like you know you're going to be the same person you are five years from now. The only difference will be yeah, that's so good. The people you hang around mm -hmm. and the books you read, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Which. Now it, it can be, and you know, yeah. who you watch or listen to, or yeah. you know, yes. yeah. so, uh, yeah, I so mean, what we're saying is listen to us, yeah, no, no, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Monitor your media intake, uh, allow our show, and you know, it's just to be one of those, <laughs> right. right? And truth be known, both of us, what we agree is, is you need state time in the yeah. book. And uh, real quick, real quick, yes. I want to say that you mentioned the media fast, and, and I did it as well. Mm -hmm. I asked our church to do it, mm -hmm. um, and that was leading up to our Bible conference. And for our listeners that maybe aren't a part of our church, um, we did a, or ended up being 10 days. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, we shut it all off, just turned off the media, mm -hmm. and it was therapeutic. It was a blessing to me. Listen, I didn't miss anything, did right. you? No. Nope. I miss a thing. Yeah. And in here's I was kind of joking. The world didn't end, and we're still here. Yeah. So I was kind of joking around with our church, you know, when we talked about challenging our church to do a media fast, and you know, hey, obviously you don't have to do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to, hey, we're getting a revival conference. Let's, you know, get ready. And uh, I know some of you are sitting there going, well, yeah, I, I could do it. I just don't want to. <laughs> I, I could do it. I just don't want to. Like an alcoholic, right? Right. right. I could stop drinking. I just don't want to stop drinking. Right. And it's kind of like I don't want to admit I actually have an addiction. Mm -hmm. And Paul said, I will not be brought under the power of any. Mm -hmm. It may be lawful. It may not be expedient. Yeah, amen. So, yeah. thank you. Yeah, good advice. Last question. What does the Bible tell us about future lies? This is kind of your stick future yeah, prophecy. Yeah, I, I like it. I, yeah. I like to study eschatology. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote a book on that, and I appreciate my dad buying that book. It was a <laughs> blessing. So anyway, um, first of all, mm -hmm. to your question, what, what does the Bible tell us about future lies? I think it's important to remember where lies disseminate from. Mm -hmm. That's good. So, for an example, the Bible says in John 8, 44, speaking of the devil, right? He is the father of lies. All right? Mm -hmm. He's the father of lies. Uh, I would say to your question, what about future lies? What should we expect? Mm -hmm. I'd say uh, three things I wrote down. Future lies to expect. Number one, listen carefully, please. This is, this is a lie you're going to hear more and more and more about. And I believe it's a lie. Mm -hmm. Climate change is the biggest problem that our world faces today. Mm. No, it's not. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's, no. No, it is not. That is a lie. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely, unequivocally a lie. Mm -hmm. Diametrically opposed to the Bible. Amen. So uh, maybe we'll do a podcast, Pastor Kennedy, oh. on climate change That's for good. future because... I'll end up getting in a, in a rabbit trail here on it. Right. I won't. I'm just telling you on our audience here, 
is a lie. Mm -hmm. The second lie I think is going to be coming down the road very soon. We're seeing elements of it now is that Christians are bigoted. Mm. We're bigoted. Okay, let, let me, oh, I, I have it here. I'm going to grab my phone. I don't normally do this on a video podcast, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to grab my phone because I screenshotted. Yeah, uh, I screenshotted the definition of bigoted. Um, and this is what it says. This is the definition. It says this. Bigoted means having or revealing mm -hmm. an obstinate belief in the superiority of one's own opinions and a prejudice intolerance of the opinion of others. Mm. Okay? So having a, re a, 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 a revealing an obstinate belief in the superiority of... Okay. Well, here's the funny thing. Mm -hmm. So I'll give it a, an example. I believe the Bible is perfect, inerrant, infallible, providentially preserved. I believe every word in this book. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I believe it's the, it's the final authority on all things. Mm -hmm. So bigoted, I, yeah, I mean, if you're saying because I believe the Bible, I'm bigoted. Mm -hmm. But it's God saying it, not me. Amen. Mm -hmm. But then you could turn around when they say, well, we believe this. Mm -hmm. Could you not turn around and say, mm -hmm. well, that's bigoted. Right. They just want you to morph into their opinion. Mm-hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and agree with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Pastor Blue used to always say, How do you know when somebody is demon possessed? <laughs> right. Say, How? And you go, yeah. Well, you know, when they disagree with me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I, I'd say that's the second thing. And yes. the last one is um, the last lie I do believe the church will, uh, uh, will be, uh, you know, won't be present. The church will be gone. And that is a lie that's coming in the future to mm. Pastor Kennedy's question. Mm. And that is mm. 2 Thessalonians 2.11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Mm. And I believe that lie is to accept the Antichrist as Savior of man's problems. And Daniel 8 makes that crystal clear. They will believe a lie. Our very first podcast, mm -hmm. I think, was on strong delusions. Yes, yeah, strong delusions. Yeah. So... Um, that's that's kind of coming down the road, but there's going to be a lie that people believe in. It's the Antichrist, and leading up to that would be the lie that you know the mark of the beast, and you take that, and it's all going to be fine, and all this kind of stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, try you, the Pastor. spirits. Good. Try the spirits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, comes back to the Word of God again, doesn't it? It always does. It so always does. thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed our video podcast. Uh, be sure and give us a thumbs up and uh, like the video. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do that. And uh, we'll see you, Lord willing, next week on our video podcast. God bless you.